EPAWA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for August 1st, 2023. It is the start of the new month today and Tuesday, and Music Fest is starting this week. So we are the official forecast provider for Music Fest for our 10th consecutive year, and uh, that begins this Thursday. It's the preview night for Music Fest. The actual festival itself is a 10-day festival starting this Friday, where the entire festival is open, and that goes through the following Sunday, the 14th. So we will be, uh, that's what I've been doing. A lot of people ask me, like, where are you at on social media? Well, I've been preparing for this. There's a little pre preparation that goes into this uh, from our standpoint, uh, getting us ready for that. I have a podcast to do tonight, and uh, there's all kinds of different coordinations and, uh, you know, different things that we do behind the scenes uh, for that, including our Music Fest forecast page, which will be available beginning on Thursday. So that is going to be starting this week. And we have pretty good weather for most of it. I'll be talking about that on the podcast tonight. Uh, here is a look at today. We are mostly sunny across the region today. There is a caveat to this, though. And if you were out last night, you did see a little bit of haze over the moon. And that's because uh, we had a little bit of uh, elevated smoke coming to the region. I'll get to that in a second. Actually, let's get over that now. Uh, I just want to show you where that is. This is looking at uh, over uh, early this morning. You're still going to have uh, kind of a hazy morning, even though it's not going to be humid. Uh, still having low humidity and very nice temperatures today. 76 to 82 is the temperature spread across the region. So even cooler than yesterday in terms of max highs. And then overnight tonight, we're going to get down uh, well into the 50s, like way down in the 50s, like 50 to 56-ish uh, in the interior. And then uh, when you get closer to, the, to uh, the metro areas, we'll be closer to the 60 degree mark. But still pretty nice for an overnight here in early August. And uh, this smoke is uh, going to be vertical. So it's vertically integrated. That means it's going to be up in elevation. It's not going to be down to the surface. So you're probably not going to smell this. Uh, but this is going to go away during the course of the morning and early afternoon. It's going to move off to the south, as you can see here. Uh, I'm going to stop this right here at 9 o'clock, okay? Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because we have a supermoon tonight. Uh, I'm not, not sure how many of you heard of that, but it uh, looks like right around, uh, I think the sun moon rises right around 9.30 or thereabout, uh, so you'll get a little bit after that once it goes above the horizon, you'll be able to see that. Uh, I want to see, I'm very interested to see some of these southwestern areas that are still holding on to that elevated smoke. Given that the uh, sun, or excuse me, the, the moon is going to be uh, notably brighter and up to 14% bigger than normal, uh, how what kind of effect this uh, haziness will will create with those probably some pretty spectacular images? And it's gonna the the moon is gonna be of course um, you know the, the super moon is gonna be going through the late overnight period. I think the sunset or moon set. Let me get this right. Yet the moon set is somewhere around 5:15 in the morning. Okay, so you have all night to look at this and get some good pictures if you want to be out. You don't have to be up too late to do it. Uh, you go out there like 10, 11 o'clock, and you'll probably get some good images yet. So that'll be tonight. Uh, but then when we get back to Wednesday, uh, some of this elevated smoke will start coming back into the region here later in the day. This is going to be more like an afternoon and evening deal where we have this coming back in. This is what we're dealing with this summer, and I know all the people are like, oh, you know, here we go again. Uh, but, you know, this is what we've been dealing with this entire summer. Are you used to it? It's unfortunate. It's not just going away. The fires are still there, and there's still there's many of them. Uh, so it's it's taking its. If you get the right wind direction here out of the northwest or north northwest, this will happen. Uh, so you kind of have to pay for the nice, refreshing, low humidity days sometimes at times, and this is one of those deals. Uh, and no different. Uh, we don't have no we have no precipitation in the forecast here for today. Obviously, we have mostly sunny skies. Same thing here for Wednesday. Mostly sunny again. Slight increase in temperatures by a degree or two, not much, but uh, Wednesday is going to be mostly sunny as well. Then we have another system coming at us that's going to bring us a cold front through the region. And it's going to be slow to move through when it gets to our region, but you can clearly see where that is. Uh, we have uh, up in southeastern Canada, we have an area of low pressure that's uh, sitting up here, and the cold front is going to be tied to that. Let me get this uh, situated here. There we go. Here's that area of low pressure. And cold front sitting back here like this. Okay, so along that will become the focus of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Looks like very late in the day and evening on thir uh, Thursday. And that, of course, that is preview night for Music Fest. So we're going to be watching this very closely. And here's what it looks like here on the NAM. Now, this is not the high resolution version of the NAM. This is the one that goes a little bit further past 60 hours. This is uh, the 12 kilometer version. It does have some activity around, but it's, uh, you know, scattered activity. So we'll see. It doesn't mean it's going to be a total total loss uh, at Music Fest or anywhere else for any other events. 
Uh, the Phillies are back home. There's a lot of things going on that evening. So it's going to be um, one of those deals where you have to keep, just watch the radar and see what happens here on Friday. And we'll continue to follow this over the next couple of days and get a little bit better uh, of a look from what the NAM is trying to sell once that's in range. It's not in range yet. The three-kilometer version, which is the high-resolution simulated radar, we don't have that yet, okay? Uh, but beyond this, once you move ahead to Friday, the NAM is start, or excuse me, the uh European model starting to suggest that it's just going to be eastern areas getting scattered showers and thunderstorms as that front pushes a little bit further east. So we might be have, you might have a dry day entirely here in uh, central PA. We'll have to wait and see how that works out. But it's starting to trend in that direction where it's an earlier frontal passage that would just be, you know, later on uh, on, thir on Thursday and then uh, part of the overnight. But then it looks like it's just a uh, eastern areas. It will solve the opportunity for some scattered showers and thunderstorms here on Friday until that front fully clears. And it does clear for the weekend. Saturday is a mostly sunny day, and we're looking at partly cloudy skies here on Sunday. There's another cold front coming at us. It will come through on Monday. More scattered showers and thunderstorms in the evening. This could just be a quick line of storms, too, in and out, and that's it. So we'll see. Um, you know, we get closer here, we'll be able to see exactly what we're dealing with when the NAM's in range. We have the three-kilometer version in, in range. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be overwhelming at any point. None of this looks overwhelming. These are frontal passages. So you have scattered showers and thunderstorms ahead of the front along and 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 ahead of it. Um, so it might not be uh, too bad here, but we'll uh, find that out here in the next day or two, what we're dealing with here for the end of the week. I'm EPA, WA Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for August 1st, 2023. Have a great Tuesday.